Welcome guys, um, I will teach you how to create um, an easy to instance and use um, an application in Mac OS to uh, connect to that um, EC2 instance. So go ahead and log into your AWS management console. And once you're logged in, uh, click easy to, and on the left side, uh, click instances and launch a new instance. And for this example, we're going to show you installing Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base, uh, the free tier. I hit select, I just click review and launch. Click launch again. And because I already have an existing pair, for those who doesn't have, you can create a new pair and then write the name and download the key pair. For me, uh, I already have an existing key pair. It's called CJ key and then hit this acknowledge launch the instance and it will now say that my instances are uh, now launching I can hit and click so it filters and only sees that instance um, you have to wait for some time as well for this to uh, change from pending instance state to a running instance state so right now it's provisioning all the required resources for uh, this EC2 instance with the Windows Server operating system. It might take a while, so we'll skip this. Um, now the instance state is running. The next thing that we have to do is um, should download an application called um, Microsoft Remote Desktop and you should be able to see this in the App Store. I can show you in the App Store. App Store. Microsoft Remote Desktop. Um, this one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open that one and it looks like this. And what I need to do first is to uh, copy the public DNS, this one, head back to my Microsoft remote desktop, click the plus sign, click desktop, and for the PC name, I'll paste that there, click add, and this is the new instance that was created, I double click. And it will ask me for username and password. The default username is administrator. And for the password, you would have to uh, get this through here. So now the instance is uh, selected, click actions, get Windows password. So for this one, it's fine. You just need to wait at least four minutes after launching an instance before trying to retrieve auto-generated password. So we, we might have to wait for a while. Once uh, it's done creating the auto-generated password, uh, it says your key name is CJ Key, and now find that key pair path, and I'll go ahead and find it, and it should be here. It should be where you saved it. Uh, begin decrypting your password, and you would see your password. And don't worry about this. Like I'm gonna change either change the password or terminate this instance. So. It's fine you guys seeing this password. I copied the clipboard and now uh, put the password there in the Microsoft Remote Desktop. Click continue and and as you can see it's now provisioning. Let's make this bigger. Yeah, at first there was a blue screen that says uh, configuring for uh, users with, with the Windows uh, interface. And now there we go. We have it. 